so here we are lined up on uh, Fisk Avenue. Going right towards the lake, and we'll turn it down when on the other side. All right. We should be down to traffic speed here, about 105 miles an hour. This is in miles, of course. Okay, and we're going to be holding 1,800 feet until we turn the down. Right? Correct. And now's a good time to have all your before landing checklist done, your in-range checklist, all the appropriate checklists for your airplane. Yep. Should be basically completed minus uh, gear and final configuration. Okay, winds are 230.10 to Augusta 17, which will be helpful for us on the, the base to final. Exactly. Because it'll be in our face. Okay, so I got eyeballs on the runway. I can see the different dots. I'm turning the downwind. And one was here is turning the left downwind for a 1 8 right approach. Skyline 1 1 Sierra, Roger. And uh, after this one, you want to go back out. Uh, to the south just a bit to uh, rejoin that base or that uh, crosswind? Yeah, actually we can do it as kind of a normal pattern for 1-8 at that point to just climb out to the south and then make a crosswind to enter it again. Uh, in 1-1 Sierra, runway 0-1-8, wind 260 at 1-2 gust 1-7, clear for the option. 1-1 Sierra, clear for the option. Okay, okay so we're descending. Get your we're gear and flaps down and we're targeting 500 AGL, which will be 1300 on the altimeter for the turn of the base, right? Yep, and let's say tower said, okay, we need you to turn and aim for the tower cab, which is inside the blue dot. So now I'm going, oh boy, this is tight. I'm going to make sure my gump check is complete here. Gear is down, verified. And I'm looking at the blue dot. If I'm turning, I'm going, wow, I, I don't have much left, so I'm going to dive for the runway. So I'm fully configured, which is good. I got my gear down. I got my flaps out. I'm fully configured, I'm heading for the tower cab as a sign, and I'm looking at the runway left going, oh boy, I gotta get down. Six sector Romeo, runway 271260, one. We're already halfway along the base, we're below our 200 feet. Way below, way below. So now as I'm getting in here, I'm going, oh boy, I'm, I gotta get in here, and I'm gonna be tight, and this is looking really ugly. So you've got 30 degrees of bank, and we're below 50 feet. This is not where you'd want to be. This, this is, is what people will see. This is bad. No, I'm going to go overshoot a little way. bit. Yep. This low to the ground. We're going to go around. Yep. Good call. Okay, turning our downwind at 1800. Yep, this 18. time we're going to do the common error of not descending on the downwind, which is what all of our members would typically have as a habit pattern, is not descend until they hit their base turn point. Exactly. Which is not what we want to do, but we're going to show how that would impact you if you did make that uh, procedure. Yep, all right, so I need to stay at 1800, and I'm going to throw my gear out just like we were doing the normal arrival, get configured early, flaps coming to 10, we're at 1800, back at my 90 knots, yep. all, all the checklists good. are complete, we're holding off on full flaps. So this would be a normal down when we're at 1000 AGL for those that fly there. Probably that same pattern from... Uh, six Echo Romeo, right parking? Uh, going to Basler. There's no six Echo Romeo, turn right at Bravo 3, that's the first one, then another right turn on Bravo, that'll take you to Basler. All right, six Echo Romeo, right Bravo 3, and then Bravo to Basler. So whereas right. on the first one we had high bank angle, on this one we're also going to have high sink rate. Yep, so ATC right now is telling me, oh, high wing, uh, Cessna high wing, I need you to turn and aim for the tower cab. So I'm going to do the same thing, but I never descend it. So I've got 20 degrees, and we're going fully configured 30 degrees of flaps. My gear is down. Gump's check is complete, and I'm going, whoa, okay, so I've got to dive for the runway. I've got to turn inside the blue dot to line up on that tower cab. Uh, and we are very high. Very high. So you got to get her down. Here I'm panicking, <laughs> totally unstabilized. Power's out. I'm accelerating on airspeed. Got 12, 1,300 feet a minute down on a short base at 200 feet above the ground. And I'm going, oh, man, I'm in tight. I'm going to have to really rank it around here. I'm going to go through final. 
and we're going to end up having to go around again. Yep. Belly up, really steep, not good. We're going around. Very good. So, the two critical things. Two critical things those showed is the importance of descending on the downwind and the importance of not turning inside that blue dot. So we'll show what good looks like this time. Here we go. Okay, so again, we're coming in Fisk. This is the crosswind for 1-8 right. 66272, hold short traffic's on left base turning final. There's my downwind, I'm turning. I'm gonna go ahead and extend my gear once we turn downwind. As we're turning downwind, gear's coming out. Another 10 degrees of flaps to help with uh, managing my energy because I gotta descend. My goal is to go from normal pattern altitude down to 500 feet above the ground. So at Oshkosh, it'll be 1,300 on the altimeter. Exactly. And you can start that as soon as we enter the downwind. So a nice gradual descent. We've got the full downwind to, to lose 500 feet. Yep. And you'll notice I'm crabbing a little bit because we have a pretty good wind out of the, the yep. southwest today. And this time I'm going to follow the controller instructions is going to tell me, they're going to tell me to turn... Um, Start your base turn at the blue dot. So that's the goal. Start the turn at the blue Start dot. Start the turn at the blue dot. Which means when we rolled out on the base, we'll be pointing uh, along a line that is north of the blue dot a little bit, right? Yep. But we're still going to be inside a pop of taxiway. We'll show that in this turn as well. Exactly. All right. Gumps check is complete. Gears down. Mixtures rich. Props all the way in. At this point, I'm going to throw another 10 degrees of flaps out. Okay. I've got the blue dot in sight. Almost to 1,300 feet, right where we want to be. Yep. There's the rest of the flaps. Okay, we're going to start my turn to base leg. And you can see the Papa Taxiway coming into view. Yeah, we're going to make sure we stay south of that. Right at the departure end. Or the approach end of the main pavement. Uh, we'll be over at Basler. And you can see we're pointed north of the blue dot a little bit. Yeah. But we started it abeam the blue dot. Right. And we're well south of the, the glass well, if you will. Right. Okay. Now watch this. I'm going to turn final, and I could make the pink dot. I could make the the yellow dot, the the dot beyond that. Yep. And I'm at my my approach speed of 90 miles per hour for the old 210. I'm doing a gradual base turn. I don't have to crank it in. At any dot you need. Any of the three dots are well within a normal approach. Stabilized. Happy. Final configuration, gear and flaps. Life Perfect. is good on center line. Didn't ever have more than 500 feet a minute on the descent. Nope. And never more than about 20 degrees of bank. Exactly. Okay, we're going around. Beautiful. So we're at the Fisk arrival. Come down the railroad tracks, we can see the runway, we can see our downwind. Just like before, we're going to start our descent. This is 272, runway 27, clear for takeoff. We're going to throw our gear out as we turn on the downwind and start our descent on downwind. Okay, here comes the gear. All right. And one was here is turning the downwind. It'll be a close in base with a, a low approach only. Okay, I want to show the traffic ahead. It's going to extend their downwind. Traffic's on the roll now for departure, runway 27, clear for the option. One was here, clear for the option. Okay, so we're looking for our 500 feet. Oh, we're same thing, from 1,800 down to 1,300 by the time we get to the base turn. Exactly. Let's throw another 10 out. I've got my gump check complete now. All right. Traffic's on a roll from the brake release point. All right, we're going to say the tower told us to turn, uh, a beam, or plan to fly our down, or our base leg, uh, aimed at the end, approach into the runway. Okay. So that is the uh, goal. So we're at 500 feet above the ground, which is good, but we're in really tight. So let's see how this works out as Thank we're... Tango Romeo, base turn for runway 27, clear for the option. Base turn for the option, runway 27, 462, Tango Romeo. 
I'm looking at the runway of, uh, that's left. I'm looking at the dots. I'm going, oh, man, I have got to get down. I'm way too high, and I've got to get down. This is 272, right close. So here we are below 100 feet. Here we are, you got unstabilized. 30 to 40 degrees of bank below 100 feet. Going to go through final, past the orange dot. Yeah, not good. Yeah, you're not even wings level till you're over the orange exactly. dot. Exactly. Okay, going around. Okay, so here we are turning the downwind. We're going to throw our gear out. We've got uh, uh, all of our checklists complete. The, uh, 10 degrees of flaps for the T10 certainly helps. Work for the air show. So we're going to make the error of not descending. Right. We're going to advertise to descend early on the downwind, but we're going to simulate the mistake of not doing that right here. Exactly. Okay, your traffic's on the roll. Roll out. Okay. Should not be a factor. All right, so ATC now tells me, uh, high wing Cessna, I need you to turn base and aim at the end of the runway. Oh, boy. Okay, so here I am. I'm at my 90 knots. I'm going to throw out more flaps, and I'm turning. I've not descended at all. I'm still at pattern altitude, and I'm looking at the concrete going, oh, man, look at this. I have got a ton of altitude to lose. Just like before, we're going to easily go through 1,000 feet per minute. Traffic is airborne, and here we are aiming at the end of the runway. Like you say, yeah, we're at 12, 1,100, 1,200 feet a minute already, and we're going to need more. Yep, power's coming to almost idle, if not idle. And it's not like you could turn early uh, if you're going to get to the, a reasonable spot for the dots. Right. So I, you know, you this is to make a low late turn. This is unstabilized. We're going to have to make a late turn before the concrete looks right. And now we're going to have to crank it around. We're going to fly through final. Not a good place to be. Look at that. I'm looking at the grass taxiway. I'm trying to get back on the center line. Uh, not a good place to be. We're going around. Okay, so now we're going to start our descent right away. How far are we going to go for the base? Well, I want to say we're going to try to line up on Oregon. Okay, so I'm now on my my right, uh, downwind. Runway uh, two seven, clear for the option. Clear for the option. One, one, zero. Thanks. I got my gear out. I got flaps to ten. I'm trying to manage my speed, get the airplane down. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw another ten degrees out just to help with that. That's two seven two base turn. My gump check is complete. Clear for the option. Okay. For the and envision this. The best way I get it in my head is unwrapping a normal stabilized pattern yeah. instead of making continuous. turns yeah, it's as not, part of the pattern. Right? Continuous straight. It's got some turns to it. Yep. All right, so we're going to turn just inside of Oregon. Just inside. Nice normal turn here. I've got Oregon Street in sight. Look, at, we're really beginning the turn of beam the approach end of the runway. So just yeah. like the blue dot, if you start your turn of beam the approach end of the concrete, right? Yep. It gives you a nice stabilized approach. I'm on speed, going with the last 10 degrees of flaps. My gear is down. My gum check is complete. 500 feet a minute. Decent rate. Oregon's just the long one, just to the left. And any of the dots at this point, if I'm going to hit my 250 to 300 feet, Nice, gentle, base to final turn. Any uh, of the dots. Is, any of them. And you stayed well inside the lakeshore, which is what the NOTAM wants us to do. Exactly. Exactly. So subtle changes make huge differences. Yep. Okay, there Got I am. Made. Got her made. All three of them, well within striking range, nice normal approach, on speed, on glide path. <laughs>